Hey guys, it's Ray the Video Guy here, and today I am really excited to tell you about a brand new program that I've had the opportunity to check out over the last couple of days, and I am really loving this, and I think you will too. The name of the program is Click Animate, and what it does is it allows you to add animated elements to your websites. But the great thing about this is, unlike in the past, this isn't limited to a WordPress plugin. You can actually use this on any website. So if you use Convertry or ClickFunnels or maybe even Code HTML, you can still use Click Animate and start animating elements on your page for more attention, more clicks, and just to make things look even more professional. And so let's take a look at the inside so you can see exactly how this works. So here is the current page that I'm working on, which is the actual bonus page for Click Animate. And you can see it's just a regular old page here. And what we're going to do is we're going to make sure that it's published. And then once it's published, we're going to open it up in a new tab. And you'll see here it is. And I'm going to actually close this off here. Now, you can see this is a page. There's no animated elements or anything on this page right now. And so what we're going to do is off the screen here, and I know you can't see it, there's actually a little button in the Chrome browser tab here, which is a, an extension. And that's what Click Animate works with is a Chrome extension. And you click the extension like this. And now you get a window on top of your page. Now, before you can do any kind of animation on the page, what you have to do is you have to generate an embed code. So you click the generate button here, and then we just copy this. We go back to our page creator here, and we go into the page area. What we want to do is we want to go into the custom scripts area, go to the head and paste it in and hit done. And now if we publish this again, we're going to save it and publish it. And so now if we go back to the click animate page and we reload this, you'll see now when we click this, we can now start animating our elements. So the way we do that is by at the bottom of the page, you'll see there's a plus button here. You've also got a save button. You've got a list button for all of the animated elements that you create. You've got a code button. You've got a trash can and you've got a turn off button. So we're going to hit the plus button here. And what we're going to do is we're going to choose an item on the page. So in this case, I'm going to choose the click animate logo here. And now you'll see that I have the opportunity to add a bunch of different effects. So I can add an enter effect. Now an enter effect is where when you first load the page, this item is going to enter the screen. And you've probably seen many of these before. You can do a fade and you can see the example there of how it looks. Slide left. And you've got all sorts of different enters that you can do here. So we could do pin bottom. Okay. We could do a rotate left. There's a lot of really neat things you can do with this, create some really cool animations for this. Now, the great thing about this, and I've tested this a few times, it has not slowed down any of my pages at all. So as I've added these animated elements, I've tested the page and it didn't seem to slow it down even a little bit. So it's a, a very cool uh, program in that it doesn't seem to slow things down as you add these. Now, as we go down the page, now that we've got this one done, I'm going to hit save there just so we keep it in there. Now, as I said, there's a button here that shows a list and you can see the list of the first one here. And actually, we're going to go back in and we're going to give this the name of logo because otherwise we'll get these confused later. And we'll save that again. And now when we go back to the list. You can see our logo is here. So anytime we want to go back to the animated elements, we can do that. And we're going to add another animated element. And this time I'm going to add it to this video. So what we're going to do is we're going to select that video. And now we're going to go and we're going to give it a different in. So we'll do, uh, let's do a zoom in. So something like that. That's pretty cool. And again, we'll give this, we'll call this a review video because this is the video you'll be seeing in that box. If I can type, there we go. We'll save that once again. And so now if we look at the layers, you can see we now have the logo and we have the review video. But there's a lot of other cool things we can do here. So if we hit the plus button again, you can see we can select some text here. So we're going to cl click on this text right here. And this time, instead of doing an enter effect, which we could do here, we're actually going to look at the special effects because this is a very good text effect here. So we're going to come in here and we're going to choose typewriter. And when we do so, you'll see that now this types in onto the page. Just like so. So it's a very cool little effect and we can change the delay on this if we want. So we can bring it down a little lower and you can see it now types in a little bit faster. And once we're done with that, we can give that a name. 
and hit save once again. Now, while you've seen many of these types of animations before, so if we click on you know, any of the, uh, like the timer here, we can come in and we can add an effect to that. So if we did a hover effect, now a hover effect is what happens when you hover over an item. In fact, you know what we're gonna do is we're actually going to choose the button for this. And we're gonna come back to a hover effect here and we're gonna give it, oh, let's see, maybe a ta-da, which people have seen before. So you can see it does this. And the way that works is so now when people hover over the button, it's going to do this. Okay. And that's a very cool effect that allows you to just get a little bit more attention as people are using the page. Now, I want to show you a couple of other effects that I think are really exciting. And obviously in here, you know, each of these elements has lots of different effects you can use. And you could go down the page and use them on a variety of different items in the page. But what I want to show you now is something that affects the background or it affects images. And those are the special effects. Now we saw the special effects on effect on text, but let's show you what it does on a background. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to hit the plus button and this time I'm going to choose the entire background here, this entire blue background. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the special effects and I'm going to choose ripples. And so now if we go over this, you'll see that as we move our mouse over this background, it creates this really cool ripple effect. Now I know some people will say, what's the big deal? Well, you know what? The first time I saw that, I sat there for two to three minutes just clicking back and forth like this, uh, sliding across the page because I thought that was so cool. And so that's a, an effect you can add to the background there that just makes it really cool and just adds a nice subtle effect to the page there. Now you can change the drop size so we can get much bigger if we want, which this is going to look ridiculous, I'm sure, but you get the idea of how this works. Something like that would be perfect. And of course, once we are done with that, we can go ripple background and save that once again. Now there's also some advanced options here that you can get into and I'm not going to cover those in here. You'll have to watch the training videos for that because to be quite honest with you, I haven't gone through all of that yet. But the basic effects are very, very easy to use. And so if we scroll down the page here and uh, we'll come to this one here. So maybe we want to add another effect. So this is actually one image here, this whole thing. And so this time maybe we're going to add uh, another special effect that I really like. And this one is the magnifying glass. So we click on the magnifying glass and now you can see as you hover over, it magnifies that area of the screen. This actually was, uh, ironically, I was talking to somebody who does a lot of websites and does SEO work and he said, oh, I don't know if people would need that kind of a thing. And then he saw the magnifying glass and he said, oh my goodness, that's exactly what I needed for my project. And so obviously even the guys who are a little tougher to sell this kind of thing to, even they got excited over the magnifying glass. So it's very cool. And then we can, of course, change the zoom level on this so that it can zoom in much further or much less. It barely does it. But three times, eh, we'll go two times. I like that. Perfect. And so that's another great effect that you can do there. I'm going to put magnify. So as you can see, you can just add a ton of really cool effects to this. And just like we showed you before, if you click on here, you can actually go back and make any changes to any of the animations that you've created. Now you'll notice here we've got a couple that are no name. And those are because I, I when we were doing that, I actually hit the plus button uh, and then didn't create anything. So if we want to, we can get rid of the no names here because they were just accidental clicks of the plus button. And so now all of our effects are layered here so we can come back and check on them. And of course you can add effects to almost any element on the page really. So if we want to come down here to this part, we can actually select our image here and maybe we want to have an enter image and we'll do a slide right. Or actually let's do a slide left would be better for that one I think. So we'll do a slide left and then we'll come in, oh, actually we'll image one just to make sure it has a name. And then we'll come and we'll choose this one here. And this time we'll do a slide right. And we'll do this image two. And then we'll come in here and we'll select this one. And once again, we'll slide left. And so now each of those elements are going to slide into the page 
as we start to load the page here. And you can add a delay or a speed change to this. So if you want it to not slide in immediately, you can come in and you can make any changes to that. You can also change the speed so it slides in faster. And you can always, by the way, preview this again by clicking this button here and it will show you the animation again, just like so. And as we come down the page, you can start to do this to any other elements that you want. Like for instance, this one right here would probably be a pretty good one, this bonus image here. And so I'm gonna come and give this an enter effect of, let's do a, a dive and see what that looks like. Oh, dive, pretty cool. So we'll save that. Now the other effect that we didn't really talk about here is the hover effect and the loops. We, we kind of went over the hover effect, but I wanna show you the loop effect as well. And then I'm gonna show you something even cooler. So for the loop effect, all we have to do is click the button here and now we can go to loop and this will give you effects that will happen over and over again. So if we choose flash, you'll see it's going to keep flashing. Okay. If we choose wobble, it's going to keep wobbling. If we choose dangle, it's going to keep dangling. So those are effects that are pretty cool because they just continue to go on. Um, you know, many things you may not want to do that with, but one other effect I do want to show you while we have this image selected is under the special effects. First of all, we're going to hit cancel all other effects because to use a special effect, we have to have all the other ones that are on this image turned off. It won't affect any other element. I wanna show you this one here because we've got the tilt and the tilt is actually kind of cool. So if we click the tilt, now when we use this, we can scale this up like so. And so now as we move over this image, it kinda of does this tilt effect and you can change the strength on this. Okay, you can lower the strength so it barely does anything. But it's just a neat little effect that you can do on an image as you hover over it. It just gives you a little more action there. And again, we can save this as uh, bonus three. That's what the image is there. We'll save that. And then we can go in and we can do the same exact thing to this one here. We'll add that same effect with the tilt. And we'll go with it. Here we'll go with a two. Strength of two. Whoa, two is probably pretty big. There we go. Even that's a little big, we'll go 1.2. How's that? Perfect. And that's just going to give you a nice little effect on this particular one here. And you can do this to videos, by the way. This is a video here. And so if we save this, we can actually add an effect to a video as well. So it's not just to images. So if we choose this video here, okay, do that. And then we can come in and we can add, a, you know, a special effect to that as well. I believe you can add a special effect to it. I know you can add an enter effect. Let's take a look at the, uh, oh, let's do the tilt again on this. And we'll put the strength up. So yeah, so you can do that with the videos as well. So the videos can also have that same tilt effect, which is very cool. Once we're done with that, we're just gonna put bonus one. We'll hit save. And so one last thing I wanna show you before we go out and see the page itself and that is this last tab over here called audio. Now what this audio tab does is it allows you to add effects, audio effects to the page. Now this is kind of cool if we go back up here and let's say we go to our buy button again. And we'll choose our buy button. And this time we'll go to the audio effects. Well now you can add a soundtrack of some kind to that button and you can give this a name, it's already got the name there. We can choose a sound that's already built in. So you can see here, there's a beep effect. You can hear the beep, a tablet effect, pops, and they've even got voiceover effects built into it. So for instance, click button. Click on the button below to get your copy today. Okay. Click the buy now button to get started. And on top of that, we can record our voice and make our own recording with this. So if we hit enable microphone, hey, if you'd like to pick this up, simply click the button right now. We've got a lot of great bonuses that are down at the bottom of the page. So be sure to check those out as well. Okay, and so now we can listen to that. Hey, if you'd like to pick this up, simply click the button right now. We've got a lot of great bonuses that are down at the bottom of the page. Okay, and so now that we have this file, we can now add this to the button here so that when people go to click the button, it's going to actually talk to them. And so now let's go out and take a look at the actual page so we can see some of the things that we've done. So if we go over to the click animate page here and I'm going to reload it 
And you'll see there's our animations as they start to come through. You got our hover effect. And as we scroll down the page, we've got our magnify effect here. We've got our images flowing in. And of course, at the very top, we have our background animation as we move our mouse through it. So I hope you can see exactly why I'm excited about this particular product because it really adds life to what might be boring pages otherwise. Adding that little bit of animation just really allows people to interact with the page. It gets people excited. It kind of breaks that contrast so that they start to look at the page more carefully and hopefully start to click more. And that, of course, means that you can start to make even more money. So if you like what you see there, of course, all you have to do is click the buy button, which is down below this video. And down at the very bottom, we have some great bonuses that you can check out. If you have any questions, of course, please feel free to ask. I'll be glad to answer them. And we'll see you in the next video.